Hi, this is Grant again from Pain Power Prestige, and this is my fourth episode. And today we're going to be doing a clothing review, starting from feet. So, first is my paintball cleats, paintball boots, more of, and they are JT cleats, and I got them free with my Evil 08 pants. But they work pretty well. They work better for woods ball just because they're high top, which I'm not sure I like about them. But they they're high top cleats and they're not the best for student ball because you can't get in the right position sometimes because there's you can't bend your ankle very much. But it keeps you from twisting your ankle or anything while you're on the field, so that's good. And they've got hard hard toes which is good and pretty good traction and they're a bit hard to clean you can see like dirt falling off but I mean those are good pair of cleats another thing that a lot of people do is instead of buying expensive paintball cleats they will wear like soccer cleats and they might not be a huge difference but they can pick them up at their local sports store and those are great for student ball I know, I know that a lot of pros use soccer cleats. Okay, so moving up, we have our 08 Evil Pants. And these are some really nice pants. They're my first paintball pants. And they're nice because even if you don't have, like, knee pads or slider shorts, they have good protection. They got, like, inside mesh that'll keep you cool, but it also keep the balls bouncing. And you got knee pads and groin protection, and they, they're meshy, like where you're not gonna get hit usually, so it doesn't hurt too much right there, and it'll keep your thing vented. And you've got one thing about them, they're really they're big on me, so I'll uh, usually wear like a belt or something, or keep my or use my pod pack to keep them up, just so they won't fall down. And they've got these straps that you can adjust them when you when they are smaller for you you can adjust them by using these to do that so that be and let them stretch out more and be bigger and they've got some sort of like pod pack sort of things right here and I like to slip my belt through those you guys can do whatever you want with them and they've got buttons and also velcro that's just more ground protection and then a zipper to complete it and so they've got really good padding on the front all the way down and they've got good padding on the back too and we've even got some pockets on the back like if you want to throw your squeegee in there during a game or you know whatever so those are the 08 evil pants great pants um Next, going up, I have two jerseys. One is the also 08 Evil jersey. And that's really nice. All this stuff is in olive and black, by the way. And it's nice. And I'm going to put this on for you. I mean, it's pretty loose. And it's got good, um, like, elbow protection and stuff like that. One thing I don't like about it is this really low neck. I mean, I don't like wearing neck protectors, but this has got a low neck and it just, I mean, doesn't help anything. And you got shoulder protection also. These things, they're kind of, they might give you away sometimes just because they're big, bright, orange, evil patches. But, I mean, that's not a problem in speedball because they're not that important. Colors are everywhere. Um, they've also got a, uh, like a pouch thing in the front, like a hoodie would have, and that, I like using that sometimes, just for throwing stuff in, in between games, or picking up my loose pods, and, so, that's a nice jersey, it matches the, uh, 08 Evil stuff, which is, their big thing is like these, uh, like, fang sort of things, I don't know how to explain them, like, thorn sort of. And my other jersey is the 
think it's the 09 Proto. And this is my second jersey. And this is, I believe, it's an improvement from the evil jersey. It's a bit brighter green. A bit brighter green. But it's still got, like, meshy black stuff in it. So it'll keep you relatively concealed in woods ball. But this has got a lot, like, different features. For one thing, it's more comfortable and it's got more padding. It's, uh, still loose, but it's got, like, better elbow protection and shoulder protection and neck protection. It's got a higher neck and it's, this is a thicker fabric. Another thing I like about this is, uh, these little, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a little pattern, but it's made out of, like, sticky, almost like sticky grips. So, when you're in a bunker and you got your tank just up against your shoulder, that's exactly where it's supposed to be. It's in the right place. So you know it's in the right place and it's gonna keep it it's gonna give it grip so you don't have to like buy a tank cover with all that grip on the back. So you can be like this and you know it's in the right place when it's right against that and you can't see that. Another thing I like about these this jersey is this it's got like a built in glove almost. It's got this back protection and you got this and a thumb slit. It's got them on both. So that's one thing I like about them. The only thing I have to remember is to slip my thumbs through in between games or before games because I'll take them off in between games just because I'm not sure I like gripping just regular stuff with that. And I mean otherwise these are all great stuff. I mean they, they're a great investment paintball clothes are in general just because you know parents are always like they send your, their kids out for recreational stuff in like jeans and a t-shirt or something but paint it's washable but mud usually stays with it longer you can see I got some mud and stuff still on my uh, pants on the knees and this jersey kind of smells like paint not that I've got shot in a whole bunch but I'm just kidding we all get shot out but it's I mean they're a great investment because you can just wash them, you can use them again, and they're distinctly paintball clothes, they're darker colors, you can get them in any color though, and it's a great way to just match with your team, and to make yourself a bit more intimidating, like, if you're all matching, people are going to be like, you know, mentally intimidated because you look the part, and now you just got to play the part. So, uh, that's my paintball attire review. And keep watching, subscribe, comment if you liked it. Thanks.